This is from the last meeting we showed you. We showed you the uh, devil's head right here. And the serpent un underneath Our Lady being crushed. Here's the eye, and here's it's open. It's upside down. The snake is upside down. It's being crushed under the feet of the Blessed Mother. This is the Blessed Mother statue right here. You can see her crown right here. And she's stepping on the head of the serpent. The serpent's lying on its back under the feet of the Blessed Mother. And, and the devil's right here. This horrible. He has these lips, little lips right there. And you can see how they match the uh, lips right there. So there's an eye, there's an eye. Has an ear. It's just important, good people, to just reaffirm the gospel message here because a lot of people look at that ugly face and say, oh, yuck, and this is scary, and I'm, and I'm scared and frightened. But this actual miraculous picture really reaffirms Genesis 3.15, that Our Lady will crush the head of Satan, that Our Lady and Our Lord are in charge, as we said so often here, and it says about 58 times in the message, that in the end, the Immaculate Heart will triumph. We are guaranteed victory. So let's not get hung up on the scary part here. Let's look at the crushed head of the Satan, of, of the serpent here, that Our Lady is in charge. Now here we have this photograph taken on the March 17th after the vigil is over, completed. And we have three people here. We have Mary Ellen, who's here at the meeting today, and then Steve, her brother, here at the meeting, and then John Watkins right here. And so Steve and Mary Ellen and John, they asked me to take a picture of them. I took a, this photo of them. And what comes out is our Lord on the cross. Now you have to visualize yourself under the cross looking up at him from the right, like if you were standing under the right arm of the cross looking up, here's the cross beam where his arms would be on. This would be his head, and this is torso, and then his knees coming down like that. So, and, the, and this would be the straight piece going into the ground. And so that our Lord on the cross, this is during Lent too. Okay, we have some photographs here that um, Veronica interpreted with the Empire State Building, and it's getting cut down by a sword here. And here's like an object, a bomb. The beads here represent prayer, can hold it back. Seems like they're gonna, the floor where the bomb would have been put. This one right here, June 15th. A, a woman was contemplating having an abortion, so a photo was taken, and the eternal, Monica interpreted, the eternal father's finger pointing down to hell. And the, the, here's the woman dropping into hell. Her arms are up in the air, and her head would be here. And she's like, like dro dropping into hell. The body of a baby also is formed here, like the legs and the back of the baby. But it's also a W to the woman. If she goes through it, she'd lose her soul. She'd be condemned. Tommy Backer, who took the uh, lady in the sky photo, took this photo. Here's the skeleton, right there. See, you see the arm, the hand, the shoulder blade, the, the, the torso, the arm, the head right here, the neck. Well, skin will dry up and blow off the bones as though it's never been. Devonka interpreted this, you turn it upside down, here's the mushroom cloud right here. All right, this, this right here has a double meaning now, I'm going to show you the first one right here. It looks like a tidal wave coming in. Yeah. Huge tidal wave. And there's sixes here, 666. Now, the tide of evil is going to overcome us. And then you have here the ball of redemption right here. The ball of redemption bringing in the, t the real water that's going to come in from the ocean when it hits. And this is like the land here, and this is like the water. So and this is the ball of redemption right here. Big water. Imagine a little house right here. And it's massive. The ocean's coming right in. This huge tidal wave, like from deep impact. And here we are on the 23rd, as you can see. Some photos from that evening. And we'll just show you a few of them.
And of course, the 42nd anniversary is June 16th and 17th at the shrine. 